Hey guys, Saka here with Minecraft Mega Build, Indianapolis Motor Speedway Episode 1. I've started a brand new super flat world here, and as you can see, I'm standing at the 00, zero coordinates, and we have all this room to build, and the first block shall be the center of the yard of bricks. Now, I've done some quick calculations, and it should be 14 blocks across if each block is a meter. So zero, zero shall be the exact center of the yard of bricks. So there we go. Now uh, it's going to be 600 blocks to the uh, turn three side. We're going to be heading uh, north and backing all the way up now. We're going to go super speed. This is two times normal speed, and it looks like uh, the start finish line is two thirds of the way between turn three or turn four and turn one. So we figured 600 blocks behind, 400 blocks in front, as the official uh, measurement is actually 1,005 meters. So just a nice rounding off. We'll be close, so no worries backing up now and this is going to be a very long build this is probably going to take way longer than I originally anticipated but I've actually been in Indianapolis a few times I got to see uh, Tony Stewart win there in 2007 and then I got to see Jay McMurray win in 2010 and then got to see Paul Menard win in 2011 haven't been back since then though but Indy's one of those places I figure the corners are basically flat so I don't have to worry about a bunch of big banking like if I did Bristol or Daytona which is certainly possible we'll see how well I like my Indy finish project but it gives me something to keep me going and as you can see this first episode we're still laying uh, just one meter of the front straightaway so we've got a whole lot more than this to do. Basic plan of attack for the front stretch and the back stretch is to just lay down the 14 blocks across to get the uh, track width and then fill it in. Now I'm going to just back up to the yard of bricks and it's cool on this Feed the Beast mod. I've got that mini map in the upper right hand corner so we can see the track widen as we keep on going. Luckily, I am in creative mode, so I don't have to worry about going out and finding uh, all these stacks of stone. I haven't done the math, but it's crazy to think that one line 600 blocks away, that's 10 stacks just for one line, and uh, 14 across. So we're looking at 140 full stacks of stone uh, to finish just from the yard of bricks to turn four. And then from the Yard of Bricks to turn one isn't going to be bad. We only have to go a third of the way there. But um, the back stretch will really actually look exactly like this. Luckily, uh, Indy's symmetrical in both its north-south and its east-west. If you were to cut it both ways, it'll look the same. Something like Darlington would be tough to do because of the egg shape and Minecraft builds in squares. So Indy is like a perfect first uh, track to build since it's a, a rectangle and not an oval and certainly not an egg like Darlington. Road course might be fun digging out um, all this land. I'm a fan of Laguna Seca so that that'd be an interesting road course to build. But almost backed up to the yard of bricks now for line two. Yep, there's two lines down. <laughs> Uh, 12 to go. But I won't bore you with uh, my ramblings for the rest of the video, so I'll go ahead and put in some royalty-free music, which is kind of cool because Paul Storch Jr. uses it, but hope you enjoy the rest of the build, and I'll get back with you shortly.
All right, we're back to the yard of bricks. We've done three rows. Episode two, we'll keep working on this front stretch, but you'll be here every block of the way. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you next episode.